Hello everyone, this is Group 4 for Principles of Software Engineering. Today we're going to go over the uh, Campus Snapshot final launch. Um, this is for Milestone 5, of course. Alright, so we're going to log in as John Doe at FAU. Okay. We're going to log in. You're going to see on the left hand side are the events that already exist. Uh, we can go ahead and order them by either the most recent or by location, which is by location is Engineering East, Parliament Hall, and then SU and Blue Library for most recent. Alright, and going over the card, you can see the name of the event, which is Party and Dorm, what's happening. We're going to bring our own drinks at 11 p.m. over at Parliament Hall. Alright, so you can see um, pretty much each card. Uh, represents an event and the event is generally laid out the same um, in this case what's different here is that John uh, commented if any majors are welcome to participate for this coding club um, right and on the right hand side you're going to see the reported incidents in this case there's an event there's an incident in the engineering east there's a broken door in room 219 and the status is pending meaning that um, there is no update yet from administration, so this is just a default status whenever an event or an incident has been reported. All right, so we're going to go ahead and report an issue. In this case, let's say in the College of Business, we can sink in the bathroom. Alright, so you see that the reported incident came up here, the status is pending as mentioned earlier. Um, there's a leaking sink in the bathroom where in the College of Business. Okay, so if we go over to um, the issues on campus table, you're going to see here the issue ID, it's pending, College of Business, leaking sink in the bathroom and then the, the path to that image. Alright, so now let's go ahead and let's say we want to report this this event. Clearly it shouldn't be here since it's a pretty inappropriate event. Uh, we can go back just to show you that it hasn't been reported yet. Uh, if you go here to events on campus you can see the first one party and dorm Parliament Hall at 11 p.m. Bring your own drinks. Event reported. You see that it shows zero. So, if it were one, then you'd know that the event was reported. So let's go ahead and report this event. All right. So if I go back to here and I just refresh this, events on campus. You can see here the event has been reported. Um, so on the student side you're not going to see that it's been reported but on the administrative side you're going to see that it has been all right and let's just say I want to host my own event as well uh, let's say, say I'm part of the coding club and I want to host uh, let's say we have a coding boot camp Coding bootcamp. And let's get a picture of this guy programming. Submit it. You see that it came up here. Uh, coding club again, it's ordered by the most recent by default, unless I click um, order by location. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the admin side. So admin, what they're going to see is so if you notice, there's also not an option to create an account for an admin. 
um, administrators are automatically going to have their own accounts created for them and they're going to be given the credentials. Right, so let me go ahead and log in. So on the left hand side, it's pretty much the same. Uh, they have the option to sort, they got the same information. Um, but if you notice here, it shows event reported. So this is the same event uh, that we saw uh, that was reported. Let me just go ahead and refresh this. So you see this event was reported. Um, and the new event that we added, the coding bootcamp, is zero. All right, so let's go ahead, administrators, we can go ahead and remove this event. Uh, so you no longer see it here listed. If we go back to the database and we refresh it, you're going to see that that event is no longer um, part of the database. Okay, and on the reported incident side, we can go ahead and provide an update for this. So let's just say um, plumbers are um, seen. Please avoid the area. Right? Plumbers are on scene. Please avoid the area. So we go ahead and update it. Right, you see here that the status was updated to plumbers are on scene, please avoid the area. Let's go back to this database here and show the status. So if you look at the status, other one says pending. And in the College of Business, the status was updated to plumbers are on scene, please avoid the area. Right. And here, let's just say door being replaced later today. Let's just update it to that. All right, so it shows here as well. Um, and finally, let's just log out and let's create a new user. Say Adam right here you go. Let's give Adam a password. Excuse me. Passwords don't match. All right, so let's go ahead and get that corrected. Submit. Boom. All right, so the account was created for Adam White. And let's go ahead and log in. All right, so you see when Adam logs in, you see that his name says hello, Adam. It appears up here and reported incidents. You can see also that the status is updated. Plumbers are on scene. Please avoid the area and door being replaced later today. All right. So for the coding club, coding bootcamp, um, are there any majors? So everything remains the same here as well that you see. And the event that we removed, which was a party, it's not going to be here, of course. All right. So John asks, are any majors welcome to participate. Let's just say Adam uh, has been there before and let's say he's a finance major and he knows that anyone can go. He can say, hey, any major can participate. Hey, any major can participate. Submit that. You see that Adam's comment appears here. Hey, any major can participate. All right. So, that's pretty much um, the overview of the application. Uh, let's go back and let's say these events have already been taken care of, or these incidents rather have already been taken care of and everything is good. Um, let's log out and log in as administrators. We log in. And we can go ahead and this one was already replaced to say we're plumbers already fixed it, right? Let's go ahead and remove that event or that issue. You see that it's no longer here. And we can go back to issues on campus. You see that it's no longer in the database. And 
go ahead and log out just to show you that on the student side they also won't see it anymore okay um, and just to show that the passwords um, can't be seen or anything go ahead and go to the users you see the usernames and this is a crazy long password um, that was hashed of course okay and that's pretty much an overview of the Canvas Snapshot application. Um, of course, more features can be implemented, uh, different ways to order, um, editing your comments and different things could be added as well. Um, but of course, in the, the time that we had, this is what we were able to complete. Um, thank you for watching.